two, three. Three. Go pick it up and throw it to this side. This side, okay? Yeah. And pick it up and throw it to wherever you want to. Hello paper airplane pilots around the world and today I would like to share with you guys a new cool long distance paper airplane. This paper airplane is my new design and it flies very very far. I will need you to help me to test the paper airplane out. So let's fold the paper airplane, test it out and comment below. Let me know how it works for you. If it works so well for you, why not like the video, share the tutorial with your friends and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon for the newest tutorial. So now let's begin. To make this paper airplane, you need a piece of your slatter size paper. If you don't have your slatter size paper, use A4 paper and it should work well too. Now, first step, let's fold the paper in half this way. Then unfold the paper. On the following step, let's start from this upper edge, fold to this side, and then unfold, then start from the upper edge again, fold to the other side. So now, let's do it. Alright, now let's unfold the paper, start from this upper edge again, fold to this side. Now, let's unfold the paper. On the following step, let's start from this corner, fold straight to the center crease, same thing. Start from this corner. When you fold it to the center crease, let's make an I am diagonal fold straight to this corner. Okay, so let's do it this way. Adjust the paper a little bit like this. Once you finish this side, repeat the same fold for the other side. Make sure that both sides are even. So I have to fold this one in just a little bit more. All right. So perfect. Now both sides is even. Just a little bit more. Adjust it just a little bit more. Okay. Here we go. So on the following step, let's start from this upper edge, fold straight to the intersection of the center crease and the cross here. So. Let me do it. Rest it down there. And then fold this piece of paper down again. Use the center crease as a preference when you fold this step. I will adjust it a little bit more. Okay. And press the paper down. Once you fold both sides of the paper, uh, now let's start from both sides of the paper. Fold is to the center crease. 
make sure that you leave a small gap between the edge and the center crease and when you fold to the center crease this paper may be moved a little bit that's why you need to hold it okay I finished this side and now I repeat the same fold for the other side and I leave a small gap too and I press the paper down okay so I may need to fold this one more Press this down, make sure that it stays nicely. Okay. All the following step, I will insert this part of the paper into this mini part of the pocket here or beneath this layer. So just hold this layer up and fold this one down. Adjust it until you reach to this edge. All right, so it looks perfect. On the following step, repeat the same fold for the other side. Hold the paper up and then curve and then press and push and adjust the paper and then press and then press the paper down. Here we go. So we just finished the hardest step to finish the plan. Okay, so we just finished the hardest step of the paper air plan. Next step, let's fold the paper in half. All right, so adjust the paper and press it down. This is a tricky fold as well. If you don't fold correctly, the blend may not fly well at all. Next step, I will estimate about one centimeter along this edge or almost half of an inch along this edge. I will start from here. Or maybe I just hold the paper like this with my finger and fold this size of the paper down okay when I fold this part of the paper down I want to match this edge to this corner so I curl the paper slowly slowly until this edge match to this corner and then I can press down the paper and I may have to adjust this a little bit here okay because now the paper may be off a bit but that should be okay Okay, I will just adjust so that it stay nicely. Okay, once I finish one side, I repeat the same fold for the other side. Flip the paper over and I will adjust the paper. Adjust and fold. Curve the paper first and then smash this edge to the edge of the other wing. This may not be even and this is not nice. So let's adjust. The paper so that both sides are even. I will adjust this side as well. Okay, so it's look pretty good. Okay, press that the paper and pull it up. Here you go. So this is the new paper air plan. If you fold it perfectly, the plant will fly very well. Before you apply the paper air plant, make sure that you curl the wings up a little bit, okay? Otherwise, this won't fly well. Hmm, do you have something wrong here? So I need to adjust it. Perfect. The end of the wings have curved up a bit. Why this make this plant fly far? First thing, there's no drag of the blend. There's very little drag of the blend. Look at this. The wings will flow up here and then go back. As well, at this size, there's no drag. You see, the wings will go through here. At the end of the wings, we may need to curve it up so that the blend will fly straight up. Okay. Here's the new paper air plan. I hope you guys will enjoy making this paper air plan. Don't forget to like the video, share the tutorial with your friends, and subscribe. Finally, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye. Ready? This looks so cool, right? Let's check it out, guys.